Hi, my name is Tom Alabrando with IWI US. I'm the National Law Enforcement Sales Manager. And uh, I read the internet and uh, a lot of folks talk about gas that comes off the gun at the back, uh, particularly when there's a suppressor on it. Um, that's a problem that happens with most semi-automatic weapons with the uh, AR-15 in particular, when you put a suppressor on it, you'll have gas that comes right down the channel where the charging handle is and goes in your face. So much so that they made a gas buster charging handle for it that would kind of redirect the gas so you wouldn't get hit with it so bad. The gas cylinder in an X95 or a SAR is located right at the back of where the rail ends right here. So what happens is folks will they'll seal up the uh, ejection port cover on the other side but there's actually gas escaping underneath here. And when you're shooting the weapon, it's coming up underneath the glasses and that's what you're feeling. Very common thing, it's a complaint, particularly when you have a suppressor on. So what I'm gonna talk about is a real simple way to seal this up uh, without getting real expensive. So some folks would actually put like high temperature sealant in here and fill this space in. Uh, and that's great, but if you have to take the weapon apart, now you've got the sealant kind of attaching everything together. Well, it's a real easy way to solve this problem. You have to block this off and keep that gas from getting in your face. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab a, uh, a piece of simple rail cover. And this happens to be a Tango Down rail cover. It could be a Magpul rail cover, it could be anything. And what you'll do is you'll attach it onto the back and you'll have the back of it overhang right behind the rail. So it's just gonna clip on like so. Now, the other thing you can do, if there's a way of finding something that will go inside that to even seal it further and keep the gas from coming out, it makes it that much easier. So what I've kind of come up with, let me put this down, is we have IWI zipper pulls. <laughs> and this just happens to be something that I'm in the field and I make it work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the IWI zipper pull, I'm gonna fill it in right here at the back of it, squeeze it in, push it in place, and that actually forms like a little block, a little sealant area right there. And all I do is take this, I'm gonna slide it on from behind, I'm gonna snap it over so it overhangs that little area. Now you could use whatever you want, some type of epoxy, as long as you don't glue it to the actual rail cover, that'll work too. And I'm gonna actually attach a suppressor onto it so you guys can kind of see how this works. Okay, there it is. So that's all sealed in now. There's nothing that can escape or get out from the back of the weapon. So I'm gonna take a Gemtech now. Gemtech's not a bad suppressor at all. It's gassy though. You can feel it in your face uh, when you're shooting it. Uh, so I'm gonna attach this little guy, fire a couple rounds, and I'll do it kind of rapid fire just a little bit. Usually it's under rapid fires when you're really gonna feel the gas get in your face. So I'm almost done. All right. Lock to the rear. All right, so I'm just gonna fire some rapid fire shots and we'll see how well this seals everything up. problem it's actually sealing the gas in real well what it's doing is it's blowing it's kind of redirecting it down and away from my face I can feel it come out of here just a little bit but you could shoot this not an issue at all so that's a little tip for you if you are getting gas coming out from the back here just take a rail cover something to seal it up and you're good to go hope that helps so if you have any other further questions, just look us up at IWI US. And remember, we have a uh, training academy too where we train people specifically on the Tavor and SAR. Um, so if you have any questions about that, remember IWI US. Any questions you have, we'll be happy to answer them.